The Matrice 4 Enterprise is a significant upgrade in mapping against the Mavic 3 Enterprise. With new flight modes, a new JPEG recipe, a remote that allows you to use sunglasses while you're outside, and many other features, it might have you switching to the Matrice 4 Enterprise. But is it really the king of drone mapping? The answer is no. And unless you were flying really detailed, highly complex sites, you wouldn't know that. And what am I talking about? Well, in the age of the United States drone industry, in the age of Trump tariffs, we now have to start considering domestic drones against the foreign competitors. As for many years, DJI has really been ahead of the curve, providing us the absolute powerhouse, the Honda Civics and F-150s of drone mapping. We're talking about the Phantom 4 Pros that then led to the Mavic 3 Enterprises, and now the Matrice 4 Enterprise. But there's a couple of things that completely change the game from foreign to domestic. And when it comes to Skydio's X10 and 3D scan, in all honesty, while it might be a lot slower than the Matrice 4 Enterprise, it can actually map at Zenith. What do I mean at Zenith? I mean the camera pointing straight up. That's right, I can't show these maps because they were done on critical infrastructure, but long story short is the Skydio X10 is able to map in environments where these drones simply can't fly. I know it's hard to believe, but we're talking about mapping dams, mapping bridges where you need to look up, and the Skydio X10 is the only drone that can do it. But we're here primarily to compare the Mavic 3 Enterprise against the Matrice 4 Enterprise. So let's dive deep, okay? When it comes to the Matrice 4 Enterprise's camera sensor, it's significantly different. When we look at these two screen recordings of Pix4D Mapper, on the right-hand side, we have a Mavic 3 Enterprise, and you can see on the quality report, there's a 9.1% relative difference between initial and optimized internal camera parameters. This means that we're gonna get less key points, less tie points, and more noise in our maps and models, meaning we're gonna actually have to spend more time cleaning these things up. Now on the Matrice 4 Enterprise, we have a 0.25% relative difference between initial and optimized internal camera parameters. This means that you're producing much better 3D models with much less noise, much more detail. And overall, when we actually look at comparing a Mavic 3 Enterprise photo against a Matrice 4 Enterprise photo, the Mavic 3 Enterprise is on the right, the Matrice 4 Enterprise is on the left you can see a huge difference between these two photos. On the right-hand side, we can see a lot of barrel distortion from the Mavic 3 Enterprise photo. On the left-hand side, we can see a lot less distortion or a lot less bending in the road. But also look at the shadows on the top left corner in the building. You have so much more detail of the cars. They look straighter, there's more information, there's more contrast, and there's more clarity. So the photos out of the Matrice 4 Enterprise are wildly better than out of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And you might also notice that other features include the Matrice 4 Enterprise comes with a built-in RTK module, making that large-scale geo-reference mapping and modeling even easier, and you don't have to pay the extra $1,200 for the Mavic 3 Enterprise RTK antenna. So when we talk about we've got a built-in RTK module, a completely different JPEG recipe, but more importantly is that we have a whole new flight mode that no one else has talked about. And honestly, it could make the Matrice 4 Enterprise king of drone mapping, but it's hard to say that when the FreeFly Astro has a camera sensor four times larger, it reduces overall mapping time by three quarters and yields much better results in detail. There really is no comparison whatsoever. But let's move back to the Matrice 4 Enterprise because when we're comparing the Matrice 4 Enterprise against the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the M4E is a much better aircraft. And it's simply because of this new feature that we call Smart Oblique. Now, if many of you have attended our mapping classes or you've seen our online mapping courses, typically whenever we create a double grid with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, we're creating two single grids that have a custom camera angle because DJI's oblique collection turns a double grid into five separate missions and typically takes way longer to produce results. So for example, 
So here we are in the Matrice 4 Enterprise, okay? Now here's a particular area that we were mapping for one of our Enterprise clients. And no, we cannot showcase what this area is. But what's more important is if you look at the duration of this mapping mission, you'll see that we've got oblique collection on, okay, oblique collection, and we have smart oblique turned on. With smart oblique, the camera is actually shooting top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, and a Nader photo. Now, at first I thought this would never work with Pix4D because you've got too much uh, deviation in camera tilt from one shot to another. Holy cow, was I wrong and am I surprised, okay? So essentially, every single time that this particular aircraft is flying, it's taking five shots where a camera would normally take one, okay? Now, if you look, this mission at 55 acres takes 22 minutes and 31 seconds. It didn't end up capturing 1,800 photos. It was about 1,400 photos when that mission was done. Now, if I take the exact same area, Okay, and I did an ortho collection, but I did a custom camera angle. So that would be one mission at about 10 minutes this way and one mission perpendicular. That would be about uh, 20 minutes of total flight time and about 900 ish photos. Okay, so slightly faster, but less detail overall. Now, if I change that to oblique collection, okay, you'll notice, let's see, oblique collection, not smart oblique. Okay, you'll notice with oblique collection, see this is now five separate mapping missions built into one for a total duration of I believe 35, yeah, 34 minutes and 48 seconds, 1,267 photos. Now, I actually tested the ortho collection, the old school way of doing a double grid with a custom camera angle against the oblique collection against the smart oblique collection. The Smart Oblique collection yields fascinating and super impressive results, creating the cleanest 3D models that I've ever seen in the most efficient time frame from any DJI drone that I've ever seen. This new Smart Oblique capture is absolutely incredible. So if we look and we click Smart Oblique, see when enable gimbal tilts in different angles respectively an aircraft takes ortho and oblique photos to improve task efficiency. We're gonna go out right now and go fly a new construction site and showcase that these different models for you because I cannot show critical infrastructure on a YouTube video. Okay, number one, when we look at 3D modeling against the Matrice 4 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Matrice 4 Enterprise yields much faster processing. It yields much better 3D models because of the smart oblique capture. It's able to garnish data that I haven't seen before. Because of the new JPEG recipe, the smart oblique capture, the built-in RTK, and the 0.5 second shutter, it's gathering this much higher quality data at the fastest efficiency that I've ever seen. When we're comparing mapping missions, again, the Matrice 4 Enterprise is going to be faster than the Mavic 3 Enterprise as the Mavic 3 Enterprise is limited to 33 miles an hour in any given linear waypoint path, whereas the Matrice 4 Enterprise is limited at 47 miles per hour or a 14 mile an hour delta. So we are able to capture data faster, higher quality data, etc. Now, I'll be honest, a lot of people talk about this new remote with the Matrice 4 Enterprise. It is by far the nicest remote I have ever seen. And again, I love it because I can wear sunglasses and capture data. I also love that I can have HDMI out. Like honestly, this is an incredible, incredible piece of equipment, okay? In conclusion, the Matrice 4 Enterprise and its smart oblique capture is not just faster, it's objectively better. It delivers cleaner point clouds, better textures, and fewer processing artifacts. The Gaussian splats, when you take a point cloud from Reality Capture into Go Splat and create those Gaussian splats, it's absolutely unreal how clean they come out, okay? While the Mavic 3 Enterprise still gets the job done very well, the Matrice 4 Enterprise reduces relative errors or relative accuracy errors in maps. It produces much cleaner models, and honestly, it's a much better aircraft to fly. 
When we take the comparison with Chinese drones against American drones, in 2D mapping, that FreeFly Astro maps way faster because the camera sensor is so much larger. So you're capturing a much more accurate image at a lower GSD and you're able to fly higher capturing more data. So for example, when we did this test, if you remember the Skydio X10 review video, we actually tested the Mavic 3 Enterprise against the Astro, against the Skydio. When it comes to 2D mapping, the Astro is much faster. It's almost a tenfold increase of efficiency. When it comes to 3D modeling, the Skydio X10 does take a lot longer than the Matrice 4 Enterprise. Typically, it's almost a 30 times multiple. Long story short is I mapped an entire bridge and there were about 40 sections of this bridge. I was able to map the entire bridge with the Mavic 3 Enterprise in about an hour. The Skydio X10 took um, 20 minutes for one section. Okay, so if you think about that, if there are 40 sections, right, it's gonna take significantly longer to map, but you're gonna have detail below the bridge. You're gonna see power lines, you're gonna see rebar, you're gonna see cracking, you're gonna see all the things necessary to do remote inspections that these two drones cannot do. It's important to know, as much as people hate Skydio, and I have been skeptical of Skydio as well, the 3D scan that it has does produce better 3D models than both of these drones combined. So when we're talking about the king of mapping, there really is no king of mapping. There's the Chinese emperor of mapping, and that is the Matrice 4 Enterprise. Unfortunately, the imperialists of America have outdone the Chinese, finally. It might have taken 10 years, but DJI, I hate to break it to you, but Skydio produces much better 3D models especially when it comes for infrastructure inspections. So while many of you are complaining about the tariffs against DJI and a potential DJI ban, you can charge significantly more money with a Skydio X10, yield better results, and because it's NDAA approved, you can take on federal contracting work that's gonna pay you a lot more money than you would ever make with a Mavic 3 Enterprise or a Matrice 4 Enterprise. So if you checked out our 3D modeling video about the opportunities, in Florida for all those uh, recertifications of buildings, the Matrice 4 Enterprise would do a phenomenal job, but nothing in comparison to the Skydio X10. When it comes to the best DJI drone for mapping, the Matrice 4 Enterprise, due to the JPEG recipe, due to the Smart Oblique Capture, is going to yield the best results possible. It also maps faster, but if you're comparing that against Americans, Unfortunately, with 3D modeling, the Americans win. Finally, we can chalk up one win for the Americans. Now, if only I could wear sunglasses while using a Skydio remote. And on that bombshell, that's gonna do it for us today. If you want more information about mapping and modeling, we have online classes. We have a whole new series of online classes from the basics of mapping terms to cloud-based software, desktop-based software, construction mapping media and deliverables, complex 3D modeling, and so much more. If you wanna lower the learning curve and you wanna learn in person without distractions, you can join us for a cloud-based processing class with SiteScan or a desktop-based class with Pix4D, Mapper, Matic, Cloud, and React. I know a lot of you want to have that experience. You wanna have the licenses to produce those results to know what software is the best for what. Well, now you can do that. Join us for a class, just go to thedroneu.com, click in-person trainings, and sign up and we'll see you there. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you next time.